Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and today we are cleaning up our mess by making things out of it. That's right. This is a big foray into trying to clean up what's on the desk by turning it into embellishments, um, nice fun additives for junk journals, maybe little um, creations, and let's just see what is on Pam's messy desk. Oh, let's just say there's a lot, but some of that stuff I will actually put away, but... Some of it is just scraps and things that I thought might be something that you're actually... Here's something interesting. I'll throw you on the goose pile. Um, interesting that you might find because maybe you find yourself in this situation too where you've done a craft project and lo and behold, you either have to put everything away or turn it into something. So let's... let's oh, that's a little too close. Let's just consider turning it into something. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go see what we have here. Some things are garbage, like that was probably garbage. This is some ribbon. Here's something I made before. It's just a thing that says journal. I've got some leftover uh, sari ribbon. Some torn book page. What else we got? There's a piece of something. We'll do something with that. Some scrap um, lace seam binding. Uh, gold thread or twine. Um, more sari silk. Some green velvet. Here's a this is from a, an old jukebox. Uh, here's a um, apothecary label. More little random stuff. Here's some wrapping paper. This is old vintage wrapping paper. I love old vintage wrapping paper. There's something so old and vintage and wrapping paper about it. Uh, here's an envelope. Here's something I made. So I thought maybe we could incorporate something I made. We sit on the desk here. Here is a an Easter card from... 1917, something from Christmas. I don't know what these are. These are Easter seals. Okay, so we have a little Easter theme going here. There's something. Maybe that's kind of spring-like. You're kind of spring-like. I'm going, I'm starting to see a theme here. Birds are spring-like. Butterflies, bring in the spring. Bring in the spring. Okay, I'm seeing a theme. We may not use everything in the one project, or we may make a couple of things just randomly. I think this might be a good base to work with. We've got a little envelope here. And, okay, what I think I'd like to do is decorate the inside of this envelope, meaning there's a lot of different ways to do this. Huh, let's see, where do I feel like taking this today? Maybe. See, I could decorate the inside, and that would be pretty, or I could take the whole thing and open it, so it'll be something. If I can get it to a party, so you, maybe we'll do that. If not, we'll go back to plan A. Not looking good. Sometimes these pop apart really easy, but this one, apparently they used... Oh, well, maybe. Okay. Oh, no, we're doing it. Because I'm going to cover it anyway with this wrapping paper on the inside. I've never done this before, so... I mean, I've, I've opened an envelope before, but I've never... Maybe I have. I haven't put rip gift wrap in it. No, I can say I confidently have never done that before. Okay, here we go. Tearing a little bit, but oh, we'll fix it, right? That's what we can do. We're crafters. Okay, so we have that. Now... I'm going to do is just cover the whole thing. Does it cover it? Pretty darn close. I think there's something folded. Oh, we can definitely go, can we go this way? Will it make it? Nope, definitely won't make it there. So there's like a little baby pig. It's just like shy. Maybe we can fudge. We'll try fudging it in there. Okay, let's get the glue stick. Where's the glue stick? There's the glue stick. Here's the glue stick of choice today. Scotch Create glue stick. Permanent glue stick. Just like the glue stick. Don't own stock in the company. Nope, nope, nope. Wish I did, but I don't. Okay, here we go. Um, so I am just going to put this everywhere. And I'm going to do my darndest to put the wrapping paper over the envelope. And I might I might have to add a little extra piece. That's okay. Okay, let's just try this. Okay, try Okay, trying for center, center. I'm going to go for the top. I'm going to cover that. I'll come in and I'll, I'll fudge this bottom. Oh, man, I didn't get it all the way over. Take, retreat, retreat. Okay, you do have a second. I'm going to try again. Okay, oh, no, I'm about to stop. Hang on. Whoop, oh, oh, mayhem, mayhem alert. Okay, this is what happens when you're not prepared. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm over enough now. Okay, pull it tight. I have a little tail. Oh. Let me back up a little bit. A little tail here. I'm covered here. 
Everything else is looking good. Okay, let's get this. Now we can see where it is. I can cut it out. There's lots of leftover um, wrapping paper to cover this little envelope. And remember, this is on the inside. You could also cover the outside if you're so compelled. I'm just like random ideas with stuff we're doing today. Um, okay. There we go. Now I'm going to come in and do the fine points. Now if you, if you have a desire to make a lot of envelopes and you want one that folds together nicely and exactly, you can use an envelope as a template and just go trace it and you have a perfect envelope. There you go. That's how the magic happens around here. Um, it's quite amazing. Pretty easy. Let me get the little scissors. Oh, here's a pair. Closer. I like that better. Okay. So, let's just... So we're working with an envelope and gift wrap so far. So it doesn't have to be gift wrap, but gift wrap, the nice thing about gift wrap is it's thin, so it's very journal friendly. Um, I'm just cutting these little divot, divot things. They must be cut so you don't get the bulk up in the corners. That's what that's to reduce, which is very nice to notice if you're making your own envelopes. And you could actually make your own envelope out of scrapbook paper. Um, it doesn't have to be regular, I mean, paper. You can use that thin scrapbook paper too. So if you're wondering like what you should do with all your thin scrapbook paper, envelopes is a nice project. Because you can make very pretty ones and you can put white labels on them. How pretty would that be? Okay, so we have now created that. Not bad for a day in the office, huh? Okay, so let's get this on there. Uh, nope, nope. Okay, I'm going to glue that there. Let me... Okay, we're going we're gonna to glue that there, maybe, huh? We're going to trim it up because I'm horrible at this. Okay. So let's just pull the glue down here. Probably should have tucked it underneath, but I didn't. As long as I cover that. Okay, that's good. Get the extra glue. Rub it away. Come back in here for the the save, pretending like this was planned all along and this is the way it went down. Oh, I've got this urge to sew this for some reason. I think it would look really cool. I think I am going to. Okay, remember this is the inside of my envelope. This is the outside. The original top, I have no idea. It looks the same. There's probably some distinct difference. Let me just fold it the way it once was to see what kind of an envelope it wanted to be originally. I'm not quite sure what the bottom flap versus the top flap, but okay, we could do that, that. See, that in and of itself is a very attractive piece. But I think I'm going to shove all this stuff I have over here, over there, and I'm going to sew around here because I think it's going to be pretty. Um, all right, so let me just move this big clump so I can get at it. That happens when you're sort of cleaning up a desk, but not really. This is called a half clean, <laughs> like it has a name. We are now demonstrating the world famous half clean. Okay, here we go. Let's get this over here. You know what I mean? When your cords aren't quite long enough, but you're yanking your machine over anyway, that's what's happening over here. Okay, so we have this here. And I thought what I would do, I think I have brown thread in here. And my, my, the, what I see in my head happening, which is not necessarily what is gonna happen to this envelope. Mm -hmm. But in my head, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to put the machine on zigzag stitch. And we're going to sew. Oh, did, are we in? Yeah, we're in. Okay. I think it's going to be pretty. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it's working. Okay, yeah. Sometimes I question my sewing. Like, is it actually sewing? I think it's sewing, and I'm not sure. But now I can see it is sewing. Okay. Okay, there we go, turn that a little bit. Is it sewing? I don't know, yeah, yeah, it is apparently. I, I like have this fear, it's not, again, that fear came to the surface but it seems to be unfounded, so we are carrying on because there is sewing that's occurring. 
just got to keep that paper right in the middle of the little walking it's not a walking foot it's just a foot a sewing machine foot go slow when you got to come to a turn that's all i know is like okay Oop. okay there we go and yeah. okay Oop, yeah, turn the corner. I know there's probably a better way to do this, but this works too, I'm just saying. All right, go faster on the straightaways because we're feeling confident and bold. And we're almost there. All right, going around this little edge. Okay, turning it, knocking over everything in sight. And it's a big straightaway and we're cruising. Can you see this? Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. That would be nice if you could see it. And I would check to see that you could see it. All right. We're coming down the home stretch of Rooney. Things are looking good. Okay, turn that, whoa, oh, what that, what? No, that was, that was not planned. All right, let's just go from here. All right, there, all right, let's just pretend that never happened. Okay, don't look. That never happened. Okay, it probably won't be that bad. It'll be all right. Straight away, straight away coming home. I thinking it's gonna look cool. I'm hoping I have enough thread in the bobbin and I'm just gonna freewheel it around there. Probably miss some, oh well, that's all right. In this little straight away. Coming home, and gonna turn the corner, and there, we're off. We are done the sewing. Come on, scissors, you can't have gone far. Here we are. All right, so it's not perfect. Okay, we can see that, but we're not gonna let that stop us. No, that's no machine. So I really like the way, oh, I can't see anything. I really like the way it looks on here. I could easily say that would be the, but I'm still, I like the idea of making this the inside. Yeah, that looks cool. I don't know. That's just like, it's cool, isn't it? I think so. Okay, so I'm going to say I didn't really need to sew out any of this, but, oh no, actually I could put that there. Oh yeah, that, that's the way it's supposed to go. Okay. Is it? Or is it supposed to go that way? No, no, definitely that way. Yeah, I'm feeling very good about that. So, so she said about the sewing. Let's glue it now. Cause, oh wait, no, we were gonna have an envelope that completely opened because that was our thing, right? So we're not gonna glue it now, but we could cause it would look really cool glued. But I think what I'm going to do, I am just going to clip the whole thing so that when the person takes this off, they're gonna think, oh, this is an envelope, but no, the whole thing actually opens. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, cause it's something different and something fun and we're just going down a different little path. I'm gonna get the old famous worn out but beloved dauber with the old vintage photo. And we're gonna get that water bottle squirter thingy. Okay, boop, okay. Just water, that's all I use. Um, just enough to reawaken the ink. And then, since this is gonna open, <clears throat> I'm gonna back fold it and just ink the fold lines because we are gonna see that when they open it. I think it'll give it a nice little vintage look. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. All right, so we have that. Nice, right? I know. Yeah, we're rocking it. Um, so far... Uh, okay, so let's just play with some things. Like we could make individual, we could decorate the outside. Maybe I'll decorate like one, two, three, four, make some things on here. I do like these birds. I think they would be really cute on there. I do like the butterflies too. These are um, fabric butterflies somebody fussy cut out. Isn't that, bless their souls. Um, maybe I'll put two butterflies there. Yeah, and you can use Scotch Create permanent glue stick on lightweight fabric projects. This is now a lightweight fabric project. Me? Okay. So we're going to put the lightweight fabric, it's like the thickness of muslin, on here. And we're just going to make these butterflies fly in different directions. 
Okay, got that down. Here's the other one. Here we go. The old finger technique here. Yep, there we go. And then, now I want to make sure it doesn't get covered. See so here, okay, so you are out and about. Whoop, get, get back in your little... I think I want to ink this little end because my sewing was, it left something to be desired, shall we say. Match that. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Um, maybe we'll just ink that a little bit more. See, here we go crazy with the inking. This is how it starts. And then you're gone. Yep, that's it. Okay, I think that's good. Just a little bit. Just a little bit here and there. Okay, that's good. So now, what else do we have here? We have a duck. We have this thing. I don't know how we're going to work that baby. <coughs> Maybe like this. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's right. I mean, don't necessarily have to orient it so that it's this way. It could be oriented this way, and it could just all open. That, that could be too. Um, so then I would put this here. And this is the multi-pocket thing. This is like take one book page, fold it a fancy way, and you have all these other pockets. One, two, three. And if you glue it down, it'll be four pockets. So let's do that. Okay, let's put that there. You could also just tuck this inside for somebody to use it for something fun. It doesn't actually have to be glued onto this, but well, since we're here, let's just glue it. All right. All right, there we go. There we go. And that was uh, Fabrifix. I do like this. This kind of represents spring a little bit. Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of the game that, you know, I know it's, you know, October, November, but fabric fix, clear silicone glue, fabric, 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 paper, paper, paper. Okay, so we have that, but this, now we're back to this. Oh, so wait, which is the up and which is the down of it all? I think we originally thought you were up. That puts you that way. That's all right. It's actually okay. Um, okay, so not that way, but you could. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think I'm going to do that. Yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to glue anything, so it really doesn't matter what I'm going to do because none of it is going to be glued. So I have a duck, and I have some birds. And I have things. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Here is this pretty piece of green velvet. Where will you go? I think maybe on the back here. Feeling? I should stay focused on one side. That, that would be good. Okay, let me put these guys here. Who needs to go where? Let's tear one of these guys out. All right, maybe there. There's a good spot for this little guy. Let's put him there. All right, and I think we can, let's use the fabric fix. I think that would be a good, good thing to do. Just having fun with an envelope today. Anybody can do this. Yes, even you. Um, mm -hmm. And you and you and you and you, all of you. <laughs> okay, so we have that. I think. I don't know. Do I want to put so there's like a lot of different colors going on here, but it's okay. We're gonna call it the mish mush of the this season. There's a little pink, and purple, which is rust there. Okay, so we have this so far, and we could put something here and something here. Well, what would that be then, Pam? We have what? What do we have left? We have the duck. I could put the duck at the bottom. Put the duck here. I could totally put the duck there. All right, it's time for the duck. Duck is going in. Now remember, we're making something out of nothing, so even if it comes out completely, completely goofballorama, it's only paper, and they were only scraps, and we're just trying to use up our scraps wisely and have stuff to play with. And that's the whole idea. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> ah, 
I was singing, so I lost my voice a little bit. I was singing a lot lately, and so I sound a little raspy, so I'm not sick or anything. I'm just, I was singing. That's what it was. Sing, sing, sing. Okay, that's kind of cute. It's got a little flat duck bottom. Okay, I can do that. Let me actually round this out a little bit. Soften that little flat edge there. Okay. Whoop, we got a we got a glue ball hanging there. Let's use it. Let's use that Fabrifix glue. We don't want to waste a drop of that. All right. Come here, ducky. You're going down. Here we go. Forevermore. You will clap quack right here. Okay, so we have that so far. Actually, we have that. <coughs> so, once so we have this. That's something different. Okay, some wordage. That's kind of cool. I like that. Will you fit? You have to fit. If you don't fit, you can't play. Okay, you can. I think you can play. Gonna ink this up a little bit. It's kind of a fun little, you know, antique vintage piece to put on here. Okay. These were actual labels, so they still have the sticky back on them, but it's probably very, very old glue, and I think I'm just going to feel safer about re-gluing it with a glue stick that I can trust and rely upon in the darkest of days. There, we're in. There we are on there. That is good. And and we have this, so what's that? You want me to ink around the top? I heard you. I heard you. Why don't you just finish it off and ink around the edges? It would just make it look so nice and vintage. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just because you asked. That's all. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we have that. Now we have this on this side. So we could technically tuck that in there. That would be kind of cute. Or we could put that... See, this has a flip up, which is kind of cute, but this also has a pocket, which that would fit perfectly. I, I like that. We're going to go with that. And, and being that this is purple, I think it will go nicely with, like, purple, pink, maybe something like that. Um, so we have one, two, and then three. So what are you? Oh, we got a big glue glob going there. Oh, there you go. Go back in your house. Um, I have this. I have this. Okay, let me put my little threadies here. Oh, I like the black. The black would look nice on here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cute. All right, that's seam binding. And then we have this little vintage two from for Christmas. That's very cute. Timely time of year. Will it fit? Will it fit? Okay, you can hold this like that. Now it'll fit. Look, I put that here. That fits really well there. And maybe I could put some Easter seals. Cute little guys. Got these in somewhere in ephemera. So we're going to do that. It's going to make a seasonal thing. It's going to have like lots of different seasons in it. Yeah, we got that there. And I have a little piece of lace. And this goldy thing. And the blacky thing. And the goldy thing. And the pinky thing. Alright, so. And we could put a, a... That would be pretty. We could also do it like that. That would be nice. I do like that. Maybe we'll do that. Let me move you. I'm moving you. All right. Uh, here is the fabrics. This is like all mucky on the end, but I'm going to work with it anyway. I'm going to go slow. Trying to do a straight line. Rarely can do it, but we do our best. Okay, there we go. And we have that. So this is just a fun little project. Something to goof around with. Um, it's on my desk. It needs to be used up or it's going to be put back in some great pile of something or other, and I may never see or hear from it again, so this is probably the wiser move. Um, and then you made something, and it, you'll probably never make something exactly like this again, because we do tend to, well, I don't know what we tend to do. What, do we make new things all the time? Do we mass make the same thing over and over? We do. We would do both, because we're crafters. Okay, so now we need something long and lean to go in there. Okay, well, you could also go in there. And, and I could maybe put something like this to bring... Oh, I have glue all over this page. I, I, could, I could tuck something in there like that. That would actually be pretty cute. So let me do that. This is just going to be an extra piece of paper for somebody to play with. There, and it's going to give us some background imagery there. We have that. We need something. Oh, here I found this. This isn't doing anything. Maybe this would be cute. This is a um, milk bottle cap from days gone by. I love collecting these. These are cool. 
And there's so many different ones out there, and you can buy them in bags and stuff like that. So they're fun to collect if you like to collect those things. Put that little guy in there so they, they know there's something there. And then, and then, and then, and then, we could maybe do the black stripe next to it. That would be kind of cool. Um, maybe something like, I don't know, maybe we need to do a bow. I'm feeling a bow. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, we're going to do our rabbit ears bow. And this is how, okay, we're going to do two bunny ears. Okay, two bunny ears. Then you tie them together, and this is going to make the magic trick of your bunny tails coming both to the bottom. If it worked, it should work like that. So we're going to shrink them up a little bit. Oh, okay, shrinking, shrinking. Now I know that looks like it went to the top, but it really is still at the bottom. It's just because it flipped. So it's really like that. And that's really how it is in the grand scheme of things. So there's, oh, that's kind of just pretty like that, isn't it? We could even, like, we could just do it there. It could be like there. Like this. It's just maybe this is a little bit much. We need, don't, don't need that much. No, no. There. Okay. So here. Let's look at this side just for comparison. Okay, that's upside down. We could have a problem. No, nope, we don't. Okay, so maybe I'll put this here in the corner, or maybe maybe here. Yeah, that looks kind of cute, right? Right there? Right, uh, maybe on the gold thing. Right there, on the gold thing. Maybe on the corner? Maybe, uh, maybe there. I think that's where. You gotta kind of move things around every once in a while just to see. Boom. Put some glue. Glue, glue. There we go. All right. There we go. We're good so far. And I think I would like to take maybe a little bumblebee stamp and just do a little decorating and just give it a little, I don't know, I feel like there needs to be some feet here. Or it's a bumblebee, that's what I need. Oh, here's a bee. That's why I was thinking bee. Okay, just going to kind of randomly stamp this little bee going this way, maybe off the edge, and maybe a bee there. Okay, so now we have just decorated this. We have it like this, that is, okay, no, we have it like this. There's really no upside down or downside up. I've declared there is no upside down or downside up to this. So it's like this, then it's like that. Okay, so then there's this. See, these, these things, they don't exist other than here right now. So we can't say, well, that doesn't work right because there is nothing like this. This is just a weird thing. Okay, maybe there are envelopes. I give you that. Let's see if this fits inside. Oh, it does. So we can, we can tuck that in here. That'll be a nice find. Maybe I can put some more of these stamps in here. That'll be a nice find. What are you going to do with this? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. Am I going to put a little bird there? I could do that. I have a little bird, and maybe he's going to go right there. That would be cute. All right. We're, we're just going to do it. Yeah, we're going to put him right in there. He just found a home. You got a home. You're good. I know it wasn't looking good for a while, but we got gotcha. you. We're going to go right there, and it's all is going to be well. You will not end up in the trash bin. You will have a new home in this little embellishment. Um, okay, so you can go here. Perfect. All right. So these are fun little things to make. I mean, they're goofy. They're fun. You make them as you go. You just take the things that are on your desk, little scraps and pieces, and just you just make something out of it. Okay? That's what you do. Mm-hmm. I could put something here. I do have, I have this. Maybe do I want it? There's something like, this wants to be something. Maybe, do, what does it want to be? Well, maybe on the butt, with the butterflies. I could, I could sort of see that. 
Um, sounds like a Stephen Nick Butterflies and Lightning. I don't know. Um, let's see. Maybe we could glue it across the butterflies? Would that be weird? Wait a minute. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, I had an idea. Okay, not yet. Hold your horse. All right, what else we can stick in here? I got, I have a few other things. I have a couple of these things sitting here. They're little, probably got these from AliExpress. Just, I think they're book covers or something like that. Little mini things. Tuck you in here. And I have, this is a, there's a, can you see what it is? I can't see what it is. I think it's upside down. Is it? What is it? Okay, I'm, I'm going to look at them. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's a ship. I'm not sure. But I think it's a ship. Okay, we're going to put that in here. Okay, we're good. All right, so now we have some little PC meal things. With PC meal things. Um, okay, we're going to close all this up. And then we're going to tie it. We're going to lasso this entire thing. Okay, so let's look again. This is what we have. And you can decorate these more, but I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty good about the level of decoration here. Close it up. Grab a piece of sari silk. Bind. I'm going to bind this closed. And I guess you could, you could actually punch a hole here. Should we? Why don't we? Let's just do it. All right. Punch a hole. Okay. Nope. Is the crocodile too big, by if you're wondering? Using it on the three sixteenths, or just use a regular hole punch. Okay. And now I have something I can put this through. I can make a little knot. All right. There we go. That should be good there. There. And around to bind. All right, and just pull it through, something like that. It's kind of looking kind of cute. And if you want to get like you can get super fancy and like maybe tie a piece of lace that you just happen to have laying around. You get a little extra piece, you know. You don't know what to do with it. And we have like a little tiny this. I don't know. Can we do? Is it too small? It might be. So we'll make it longer just to show how we can do that or not. Let's just see how this all works. Okay, we, we trim it like that. Okay, it seems to be working. And then we're going to tie that on here. See how I made something shorter, longer with a goofy little method? Okay, so now we, we have that. So it's, it's kind of wrapped. And then we have this on the side, which technically goes like this. But you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. So I hope you had fun with this fun little project of using up stuff. We have a little black element, little black element. Uh, bees here, bird feet, butterflies, birds. Um, just fun stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. Stun uh, stinker. Stunker. <laughs> Where are you, little stunker? My little skunk. Did you go? You're hiding? Come back. It's your moment. This is it. But I didn't, I didn't wash my feet. I know you didn't wash your face. I know you were supposed to wash your face. What happened? I know it's, it's face washing day, but I, I didn't do it, Mom. Do you think? Oh, well, you're going to have to explain to everybody why you got a dirty face. Hello, hello, everybody. He's very, very embarrassed. Sunshine in his, oh, my gosh. Hang on. You really have a dirty face. I, I, I don't know if you're show ready. Okay, everybody, I have to admit, um, Sunshine here, Cub Pup Reporter with a dirty face. There was, um, well, okay, i just tell you that I sampled Mom's stuffed peppers, and there's evidence on my face. <laughs> it was very good, though, and I was very pleased that Mom chose to share the world's smallest bite I think she gets mixed up because she thinks I'm small, but I can really handle much more than that smallest bite in the world that she gave me, but I apparently also got to lick her bowl, and this is where the mayhem ensued, and the face was forever dirtied evermore, and it, this just happened, and that's all I have to say. Happy crafting. Sunshine, out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Are you sure it's not over and out? No, he says that's radio talk, not, not TV talk. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to argue with the guy. He's the journalist. Um, so there you go, folks. Oh, if you didn't know, I have a mega Christmas, mega bonus Christmas bundle bundle going on right now, where if you get yourself from my Etsy shop a bundle, which is a collection of old and interesting papers, four junk journals, 100 plus pieces, antique ledger, ledger checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, all sorts of fun things, really interesting book pages, um, interesting historical finds in there, you're going to automatically get a bonus pack of 25 plus pieces of ephemera. There's going to be some Christmas ephemera in here. There is going to be a very special, um, whoop, where is it? Oh, here. No, 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 okay. There it, here is it, about here, here, no, can't find it. All right. I know there's one in here. Okay, yeah, here it is. Uh, there's going to be some beautiful callig whoop, can't sorry, calligraphy pages, and there's also going to be a beautiful book page with German Gothic writing on it, text. Um, here you go. It's very old. It's from 1833, which is 190 years old. So, And that will come automatically for free. That's the mega bonus for Christmas in your package of a regular fundle. So... Um, I think I put two of them up there. There's like mega bonus bundle and then there's regular bundle. Either one, as long as I have the supplies, which we are more than halfway through right now, you will get automatically the Christmas bonus. And I will let you know when that they are, um, have all been purchased. So they, I still have, um, there, I have less than half left. So if you're interested, now's the time. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you have not signed up for that, go ahead and sign up for that and you're going to get yourself a free digital image emailed to you every month. Checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and um, a page list of ideas uh, to help you break the blank page. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts, which are audio material, come out uh, the new stuff comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then all days of the week you're going to be able to access video podcasts on Spotify. And um, I have an Etsy shop where I sell journals and bundles and kits and bundles, fun things like that. I also have a few fabric packs left, and I also have, which have 40 plus pieces of interesting fabrics to use in your junk journals. And um, so if you want one of those, let me know and I will send that off to you. That also comes with free priority mail shipping. And um, it's another nice uh, gift for the holidays if somebody is going to be making junk journals. And also, I sell print, uh, print and mail um, digi kits. So if you don't like to print or don't have a printer, I will print them out for you. You will get 50 printed pages of lightweight cardstock. That gets you 10 digi kits printed. All I need from you is to buy the print and mail option and then send me your list of digi kit names, the 10. I only need the first two or three words from each name. And you can send that list to me through Etsy message or to Pam at the That's my email address. And I will ship that off for you right away. And um, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I, have, uh, I try and put links in there uh, to the things that I can find on Amazon. And that is an affiliate link. It does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the items for using my links. This is pretty. I really would like to use this somewhere in here. Maybe I'll just tie it on. Um, and also... Um, I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. So that might be something fun for the holiday season. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're doing a lot of fun over there. Fun things, doing like weekly and monthly challenges and seeing what you guys are making um, from these videos. And remember, most of all, that fun can be as simple as your scraps on your desk. And uh, so let's have some fun and let's create with reckless abandon. Take care, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.